just seen reports on Twitter that there was a Downing Street Christmas party on Friday night. Do you recognise those reports? <laughs> I went home. It began with a mock question that's become no joke for Boris Johnson. Illegal gatherings are now party politics in every sense. 148 of his MPs have tired of the excuses. His fictional party was a business meeting. <laughs> All the while others would never meet again. Beryl Harris died alone on the day Downing Street held that Christmas party. Her daughter obeyed the rules and still thinks Boris Johnson must pay a greater price for breaking them. For me, it will never draw a line under it because we need that man to go. To think that the government were partying while my mum was dying on her own is just... I can't even begin to tell you how badly that makes me feel. It still hurts you now. It does, yeah, it does. Sorry has sort of been said. And I offered the British people a full apology. I take full responsibility. I renew my wholehearted apology. But after all the apologies, Conservative polling remains in an even sorrier state. Popular culture mocking an unpopular PM. They categorically deny any suggestions that they had a party. Evening, Prime Minister! For now. What's damaging the Conservative Party polling at the moment is two words. Boris Johnson. Trust since about mid-January has dissolved in the Prime Minister. Uh, back then, uh, back in 2020 and 2021, a majority of Conservative 2019 voters said they thought Boris Johnson was trustworthy. That has now completely flipped round. It's perhaps not the parties, but the protestations that have proven most damaging for Boris Johnson. Not the crime, but the cover-up, as some see it. Those repeated denials of any wrongdoing, despite what the police and Sue Gray would later conclude, have made this a permanent issue about truth and trust. And even the win for Boris Johnson tonight could be a long-term loss, as Theresa May proved ousted months after her confidence vote. It's very difficult for prime ministers to recover their authority once they've got to this point. If you think about it, it's a, it's a huge thing for MPs to publicly declare that they have no confidence in their leader. It's not a step that they take lightly. So to even got to this point tells us that something is very badly wrong. After all, the Christmas, the garden, the leaving parties, Boris Johnson may yet have to toast his own departure. Paul Brand, News at 10.